Oh, a village. That is good to find. Has it got a blacksmith? What do acacia villages blacksmiths look like? Actually, no, I don't even need a blacksmith. What's in here? Nothing good. Great. Why is there never anything good? Ooh. I could take that for some brewing later on. But, really, nothing really good. I really just want to find a mesa biome. Really, really need to find a mesa biome. Now, why do I need a mesa biome? Perfect! The way I just, I just talked that up. I jinxed myself in a good way, guys. So, why do I need a mesa biome? Well, you're about to find out. Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Minecraft where today we are at a mesa barn and a desert because I also need sand later on as well and we are going to be collecting this normal terracotta normal terracotta that we can then dye with a cactus green dye which is why we need the desert to get cactuses and then we're going to convert it into green terracotta for a build idea that I sort of have going on right now now first thing I need to do um, is just check can you get um can you dye like red terracotta and terracotta that isn't already that isn't that is already coloured? Sorry, because I honestly don't know. And if so, then I could I was I still want to take like loads of different colours as well because for other projects later down because I don't like normally use terracotta, but it is actually quite a good block to just use. Like have a nice um mono monotone sort of colour. I guess like it's not as br it's not as bright as concrete, but it's also not as like but it's also not as um got uh, but it's also got that texture of concrete if you know what I mean, and that's why I need to get loads of it because I don't really want to have a dark green building um that's made out of concrete. So I just need to check if you can do any other color. If not, I'll still collect it. But I just need to check because I have no idea if you can. Okay, so the colour cannot be changed or removed, but also it's really hard. I, I think it's really, really hard to get. I think you need eight terracotta. Oh, eight terracotta. Yeah, okay. It's actually quite easy. I just need to get cactus green. Uh, lime. Cactus green. I don't know which colour. Probably cactus green. Uh, yeah. So, how much terracotta should I get? Should I just mine out like an entire mountain because i don't know how much i'm gonna need because to be honest this is a project that is going to go on for a long time probably for the rest of let's play minecraft and um you'll find out what it is once you get back to base but it's actually pretty big it's actually a pretty big project it's like um it's a new it's like an it's okay i can tell you it's a mega base but a slow mega base, I saw, I think, sort of. It'll be like the main house of the series. Now, I know we've got the um, mega base outside of Emerald City. That's more of a mansion sort of manor for the city. Um, in the story of this world, which I am slowly piecing together. Because I'm going to add some sort of lore to this world. I just haven't really figured it all out yet. But it is going to involve that manor eventually i've got three sugar boxes so i'm just gonna fill these out with just regular terracotta it's gonna be pretty pretty tedious i've got to say that there's so so much terracotta that i'm gonna need to mine i'm thinking probably like i don't know how much i just have if i save the coordinates so maybe just save the well the coordinates are saved in video form but i'll save the coordinates for this area so if you ever need more I can just fly back here, and if not, hopefully we, uh, we will definitely need more. I also need lots of oak for the build as well, and glass, which is another reason to go to a desert. So, let's have that much for now, and now let's go get some cactus and sand. I'd also need gravel so I can get concrete later on. I just need like one normal cactus plant, and then we need to get some sand. And then we can go back to the main area for the thing that I will be doing today. Finally made it back. So where we're going to be building today is out past the um, uh, past the city manor, and it's actually going to be out. Why is there a gap there? There shouldn't be a gap there. What's going? Hang on. Why is there a gap here? Oh wait, what? I just wasn't loading it. Ah! I'm got feather falling. No, I do. No mind. Uh, that scared me. Where we're going to be on today is out here, 
this is gonna be I've already got a tree house bit which is gonna be like probably torn down I don't know I just had I just built this here a while ago just for a YouTube short don't ask why because it was the original idea for this um, it was the original premise of this idea which I had that was every episode we would expand on this but I'm just gonna get a really good start today so we're gonna be building out back here it's gonna go along probably the entire coastline and that's the reason we're gonna have terracotta we're gonna be building a really really big green because obviously emerald lord green you know how it is and um we're gonna be doing that and it's gonna be a really big manor it's gonna be called the either temp temple of emerald or emerald manor i don't know which one it's gonna be but this tree house is gonna be a part of it and I've got 12 cactus, so I can just get a cactus farm started. I'll probably get a temporary one started over here. Until I, like, put down some sand and stuff like that. Because we do need to get the cactus pretty quickly. I'm pretty sure... We yeah, we can do this. Okay, good. Um, it's gonna... Because I'm gonna need lots and lots of green terracotta. For this build. And it's probably not bright enough, is it? I should probably sleep. I should definitely go sleep, and then we'll see how much this grows in the morning. Okay, so you have 38, t um, I need a terracotta there, cactus, and I'm running out of fireworks, but I'll fix that later. I just need to get, I haven't actually got a furnace room, have I? <laughs> that is one of the big things that's going to happen in this new base. There's going to be, like, tw like loads of different rooms for everything. There's going to be, like, 12 different rooms that are just going to be storage rooms. It's going to be a really big build. And you can't smelt... Why have I got blast furnaces? Blast... Blast furnaces. Uh, regular furnace. I'm gonna need an auto smelter. Which is gonna be... Sort of annoying to do, but also pretty easy, so... That might... That's gonna be one of the first things we put in. A massive auto smelting room. That's probably gonna be one of the first ones that we build. And hopefully... Lime green dye, good. Uh, that's the terracotta. Get a stack of terracotta. Is this the right lot? Is this the right green? Yes, it is. Perfect. That's the right green. Now I just need to wait here until all the dye is done. Oh. And with this, that is all of the terracotta because that five we just can't be converted. Turned into green terracotta that took quite a while actually like 20 minutes of smelting and crafting and i don't have any firework rockets left and another thing i have to do is we have to get lots and lots of oak for the build and then after that we can finally start building i'm pretty sure i have an oak plantation over there i can't quite remember if i do or not but i do because you guys literally saw me there like yesterday or something I, whenever that video is uploaded, because I had to get that. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna. There isn't much oak in my chest, so I need to get some more gunpowder. So I'm just gonna AFK the farm for a bit, get some oak, and then we can get started on actually building what we're go supposed to be building today. It's gonna be a pretty big thing. I'm like really excited to see where it goes to. That's for sure. But I just don't. I don't know how it's gonna go. Most of it's gonna be improvised building. Which means it's either going to look spectacular or terrible. And with this face, I am going to leave you. And I'll be back in about 30 minutes once I've got gunpowder, fireworks, oak, and start building. Okay, so I have the fireworks. I have the terracotta here and the oak. So let's get started building this. So I think I'm going to start off with... Which direction should I start off building in? I feel like I should start off building in that way because that way is the bigger direction. And this way is going to be finished a lot quicker, but this will be like an outside garden. I don't really want to do a garden today. I want to do actual building. So I think we're going to start off by... Um, there is going to be a proper way over from there to the second story of the build. But I think today we're going to start off with our basics of the... um. Is this the right Y, um, X, this is the right one. If we start off, it's going to look pretty basic right now. It's going to be the first story today of about three or four buildings. And, well, not three or four buildings, three or four rooms. Which are going to match up to about this level. Hopefully, that's the right, that's the right Y. So, Y75. 
four. Okay. So there's going to be the smaller entrance room. Which is going to consist of a door to the courtyard. Which the courtyard is going to be around here. And then pretty much just a staircase. Straight up to the bigger floors. And a smaller way out around the um, lower um, around the lower floor. So we're going to need quite a lot of green terracotta. And from here. First of all I'm going to get rid of this little annoyance. This here. And I don't want any jungle wood. It's going to be an arched way door, but the arch is going to be made out of the terracotta that we're going to be using. And so, we're going to start it all off about one block off. So this is going to be like a stair here, three stairs, and everything's going to be one block off the floor. And it's going to have the, um, the foundations of green terracotta, just because that's the most common block we've got right now. It may become a different block later on because this is going to change a lot, guys. It's going to change, like, so much. So I think... Let's get that basic down. And then we want to get a sort of arch going. So I guess the arch will sort of be like that. So small little arch. Since this is the small entrance way. This is actually a really bad arch. This looks more like a window. Let's get the arch a bit bigger, please. So the arch is actually going to be about this big. It's going to be like a square. And this is the small way into the actual build. I've got lots of scaffolding here because there's going to be some bits that are never going to be filled in. Just because I want the scaffolding there to make it look like a building project. And I think I'm already regretting putting this as the base layer. So I'm going to change that real quick. And probably replace it with um oak. Uh, not the oak logs, but probably just regular oak planks or something like that. And that's the glory of what this build is going to be about. It's just going to be about um improvising. Seeing what works and what doesn't work is really what I want to do with this build. And over time it will become a really, really big and really, really cool mega base. But it's going to become better as my build style gets better. So obviously this isn't good. So I think I'm actually going to just do a one wide door. Because after all, this is a side wall. And this is actually looking semi-decent. I could get, if I make it a bit wider, I can get some windows in. And we'll sort of see how this works. If you know, then please consider liking and subscribing. I worked really, really hard on this. And I know it doesn't look epic, but I worked so, so hard on this. And I'd really, really appreciate it if you would just click that subscribe button. I really want to make this my full-time career. And with your help, I just, I just might do it. So, once again, it's free for you. And it's going to be so beneficial for me. So once again, if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing already. And let's get back to the video. The entire build was just how things looked and what things looked good with each other. Well, I've done this. Yep, this looks a bit different to how I left you. Doesn't it? It's not a room. Um, the fun thing. This is actually not going to be a room. It is going to be sort of like a covered terrace thing. If you know what those things are. And it is actually going to be sort of the base of a tower that goes quite high up into the sky. Probably three or four floors. Which will have a bridge going over it. And then there'll be another one coming down around here. And then this will probably be repeated around the um, treehouse. Each one of... Well, this tower is directly in front of this one. And there's going to be another tower directly this side as well. And then there's going to be a bridge going over here, which will have a cool, like, rope bridge thing that will swing down and connect to there as well. And this is gonna, and these two sides have more of a professional build, so it'll be, like, terracotta, properly supported and stuff like that, as if it's a natural build. And this bridge will be sort of like a swinging rope bridge. And in the end, it will look really, really cool. So we're going to have a, if I find the center block, I think it's here. This is center block, I believe. There's going to be a spiral staircase going around this pillar, which will eventually go up to probably about here. Uh, Y81, Y82. That will leave us... Uh, that flooring is six blocks high. So, Y80. This will take us to two stories. This is going to be the, where the second story ends. And it will go up there. 
and then it would be a proper staircase or there would just be a roofing, there would be a different way to get up to the next story. It's just those little things that would be a bit of a maze once it's done. And that's what I really want it to do. Obviously it's going to be a while until I get there, so yeah. I'm just going to get this second story done, and then that will be it for today's video. No room. First tower, I suppose, of the Emerald Manor. This one, not really a room, because this spiral staircase takes up most of it, and also there's no stuff like that. And this room, the spiral staircase, takes up most of the room. So, did we build any rooms today? No. Did we build anything today? Yes, we have started the Emerald Manor. Next time, we will probably either be working on the main entrance hall, which is going to be way out that way, near Emerald City. And it's eventually going to all connect into one massive building. But I think what we're going to do to make it more interesting and keep it more impro, we are going to build different parts. So like today, I have built the entrance into the treehouse corner, which is going to be one of the corners of the world. It's going to go like that. And then like it's going to go back out that way. So it's going to be like a corner. But tomorrow, we may be building, say, the entrance hall or on the other side of the manor. And then over time, it's going to connect. I don't know what we're going to build next time. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please consider liking and subscribing. And if you're excited to see the continuation of Emerald Banner into becoming one of the biggest mega bases that you'll ever see on YouTube, then make sure to subscribe. I've been Emerald Lord, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!